Hello, welcome to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. This is Transistors Explained in Under Three Minutes. How transistors work. This transistor is an NPN transistor. It has three legs. These are collector, base and emitter. So you can see the three legs there. When switched off, no current is able to flow from the collector to the emitter. So here we've got an illustration showing collector, base and emitter. These represent the three legs of the transistor. And when the transistor is switched off, no current is able to flow from the collector to the emitter. However, a small input current at the base, so if we add a small input current here, this will trigger a, large out, a larger output across the transistor. So by adding a small current here to the base, we can now have current flow going from the collector to the emitter. So the transistor works like a switch. Once we apply a small current to the base, it allows a larger current to flow from the collector to the emitter. So we can have transistors in two states. We can have um, a, a transistor in the, the zero state or off where there's no current flow and we can have a, a transistor in the one state or on where there is current flow. Now this on off state of each transistor can be used to describe a binary number value. So the binary so false or off is zero and one is true or on. So we've got zero and one. You can see two transistors and two binary numbers. These six transistors here give the binary number 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So these six transistors give the binary number, which is the decimal 25. So you can store data as binary numbers on transistors if you have enough transistors. How many transistors do you think are in an A16, Apple A16 Bionic processor? There are 16 billion transistors. Thanks for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.